Hey guys, it's Randy with Lobuck LS here again, and this week we are going to be doing uh, some tuning on the truck again. Um, if you watched last week, I put in uh, a new cam into the truck, and uh, because of that camshaft change right now, it basically won't idle, won't run. Um, I'll give you a demonstration here. Let me just flip the camera around. So, like I said, I got that cam put in last week and this is what it does um, if I try and start it without touching the pedal. Turn the heater off here. So it kind of fires, tries to start, but won't stay running. So in order to keep it running, I can give it some gas and kind of keep it running with the pedal but as soon as I let go of the pedal it just dies okay so I got my HP tuners opened up with uh, my most recent tune in my truck and uh, we're just gonna go in and make a couple changes here to uh, try and get this truck to idle well enough that we can take it out and uh, do some VE tuning and then we'll come back and uh, try and fine-tune that idle so I'm just gonna go into engine of course my computer's being a little slow and I'm gonna go into this under the idle tab base set point now I think with this cam that I have I'm going to want it to idle at about 750 rpm uh, at the lowest so I'm just looking at this cell right here and I see it's at 525 so in order to get that to 750 I'd need to add 225 so I'm gonna go into this whole table select it all by clicking that uh, square in the upper left corner and then I'm gonna go into this box up here type 225 and this sh when I hit this plus symbol that should add 225 to every cell in the table so we'll just try that and it looks like it did so now yeah the lowest it'll try and idle when it's up at operating temperature will be 750 rpm in gear with the AC off so the other change that I think we're gonna need to make and this will just be a rough guess for now um, is in the airflow um, at idle um, base running idle airflow and I saw this in another video basically every number that's less than 14 so all these cells right here I'm gonna make 14 grams per second so I've got the cells I want to change highlighted. I entered 14 in that box and I'm going to hit the equal sign and that'll change those all to 14. Now I'm going to write this tune to the truck and we will uh, see if that helps it to start an idle. Okay, so I got that uh, those two changes made uh, increased our uh, idle rpm and our idle uh, airflow so now let's see if it uh, if that helps so we'll try start it again here and still running pretty rough but at least i'm not having to uh hit the pedal to get it stay to stay running and the rpms kind of hang a little bit but at least it's it should be drivable now so I think I'm going to I can tell it's it's pretty rich I'm at like 12 on my uh, air fuel ratio gauge so um, I'm gonna go for a drive and try and get my VE table dialed in and uh, then we'll come back and try and uh, get this idle fine-tuned here okay we're back from doing our uh, drive to do our VE tuning and you can see now our uh, air fuel ratio at idle is uh, closer to where we want it to be right around that 14.7 or 
little on the rich side of, of that. So uh, now we're going to, uh, I got my scanner up and running here. So we'll switch over to the uh, computer view and we'll try and get this, uh, it, it's actually idling pretty decent, but you can see on the uh, on the computer here, my uh, short-term trims and long-term trims for idle are still making some corrections here. And I also want to try and, uh, the, you can see the, uh, it's doing some uh, corrections for the, the timing at idle as well. So we're gonna, I'll switch to the computer view and we'll uh, try and get this dialed in to try and reduce the amount of uh, corrections that both the short-term idle trim, long-term idle trim, and timing are doing. So we'll fire up the uh, computer view here. Okay, so uh, I wanna try and figure out what the kind of ideal timing that this truck wants to idle at. So in order to do that, I'm gonna go up to vehicle here this controls and special functions and right now so basically I'm gonna lock the idle air controller in at a set amount and then vary the timing and watch both my engine rpm and my manifold pressure and try and get the the most amount of vacuum or the smallest number here for uh, manifold air pressure so I can see right now our idle air controller is at about 65 uh, steps so I'm going to go in under this control and special functions under engine and idle and we'll enter 65 here and turn that on so that's basically locking the idle air controller in one one place now we're gonna go over to uh, timing, which will be under engine, the spark tab. And I can see right now, I don't know, we'll set it to 20 degrees and lock it in. So now you can see here, our timing went to a flat line at 19.5 degrees. So we've got 800-ish RPM and 46 kPa of manifold pressure. Now I'm going to bump that timing up a couple degrees. We'll try it at 22. And now we can see our RPM has increased some. We're hitting 900 once in a while or high 800s. Manifold pressure didn't change much, still in that 44, 45. So we'll bump it up a couple more degrees here. Now we're at 24 degrees of timing. Our manifold pressure has come down a bit. We're in the 43, 44. RPM hasn't changed much. We'll go up a little more. This isn't having as much an effect as I thought it would. Like it's taking a pretty significant amount of, let's go up a couple more, let's go to 28. So now you can see at 30 degrees, we're idling in the 900s and our map is at 41, 43. We'll go up a little more. 32. That's even brought it down some more as far as vacuum goes. So I'm almost, I'm at 40 degrees of timing. That seems a little extreme for what I'd want it to idle at, but so I'm going to start bringing it back down and see where my manifold air pressure starts coming up again. So, whoops, I'm going the wrong way here. I'll go down to 36. It's still at 39, 40. For, so at 
about 30 degrees. Now you can hear it starting to slow down. So yeah, I'm gonna shoot for about 30 degrees of timing at idle. So I'm gonna shut the truck off now. You can see our engine cooling temperature is at 100 degrees C, which is 212. Um, Fahrenheit so I'm gonna shut the truck off and let it cool down and we'll go in and do a couple changes here so we got the truck shut off as you can hear I'll close the door so stop dinging um, now I'm going to we'll stop scanning here disconnect so we know from this that the truck wants to idle or it, it likes about 30 degrees of timing at idle. So we're gonna go into the uh, editor. And open up our engine tab. And where do we gotta go again? Spark. So we're going to look at idle spark advance in drive. So at idle, that's kind of this region here from 0 to 1200 and 0 0.8 to 28 or 32 grams of cylinder, whatever you guys know what I mean, you know what I mean cylinder air mass so basically I'm gonna go in and highlight this area here and I'm gonna make that all 30 and I'm gonna go over here and make this cell 30 these ones 30. So that should be good for that. And I'm going to do the same thing for the in park table here. Make these all 30. Make this one 30. These two 30. Now we'll write this tune to the truck. Means I gotta turn the key on again. Turn off the heater. And I'll stop the video while I write the tune here. And we'll pick up here shortly. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my truck to cool down, there's one other change I'm gonna go in and make here that will kind of uh, loosen up the, the timing control a bit. So I'm gonna go into engine. Um, oh, this overspeed and underspeed. I'm basically going to, um, basically gonna move this over a couple. So you can see right now, if the RPM is going 25 over the set point it's going to pull five degrees of timing and if it's going like if it's calling for the truck to idle at 800 and if it's running at 850 it's going to pull six degrees of timing and if it's running at 875 it's going to pull eight degrees of timing so i'm just going to move this whole table over So I'm gonna copy that and paste it in a couple cells over here. So we'll go right there and we'll go paste and then we'll make that zero. So now at zero 25 or 50, it's not gonna make any change in the timing. And then at 75, it's gonna start pulling five degrees. So. We're also going to do something similar in this under speed table. If we scroll to the other end here, we'll see if the 
so in our previous example if we're if it's calling to run at 800 if we get down to 775 it's going to put in seven degrees of timing and if it gets down to 750 it's going to put in 10 degrees of timing so I'm going to move everything over a couple cells here too but I'm just going to go put zero in that cell zero in that cell seven in that cell and 10 in that cell now I'm going to write this to the truck and then we should be able to fire up and play with our fuel trims here or our idle airflow table I guess okay so we got the truck fired up again as you can hear probably um, we're gonna start scanning and now you can see that this idle advance it's not having to make very much correction at all so I think we're gonna call that good as far as messing with the, the timing part of the idle um, now we're gonna go down and look at this we're gonna have to make some corrections to the idle airflow because you can see here the short-term idle airflow is making is basically taking five grams per second away from the base airflow and the long term is taking three grams per second away from the base airflow so um, our base airflow idle table is calling for 14 grams per second right now and what the truck actually wants right now is about six grams per second so I'm gonna shut the truck off and go into the editor and change the uh, that idle airflow table to make it so we're at uh, engine coolant temp 85 degrees C right now and I'm so I'm gonna make that value six grams per second in that table so I'll just shut the truck off and we'll stop scanning pull the key out so it stops dinging okay so what I ended up doing was going basically I put that um, idle airflow table back to stock like I had gone in earlier in the video and made these all 14 but uh, just for the heck of it I'm gonna try put them back to stock um, I already wrote it to the truck so we'll fire it up and again I had had to pedal it to having to pedal it to get it to stay running. Let's go into the scanner and have a look. Yeah, it won't, won't stay running without me stabbing the gas pedal. I just want to see what our uh, airflows and long-term and short-term trims look like. So they're at six. Short term and long term. 
term are basically canceling each other out right now. I just want to give this a few minutes here and see if things settle out. Because this part's looking good. Our um, idle base and idle desired are both pretty close around six.
cable up to double it and go to like 28. Let's change this here. Let's try it again and drive. set back to the, the flash table, I guess. Yeah, it's working good in, uh, in park and neutral. Trims are good. It's not having to make too much of a timing adjustment. Every once in a while, it does a little correction. It's just when you put it into gear, things go. That's actually not bad. It's making like a one point. save this into a permanent deal so we'll disconnect out of here turn the key back on go back into the editor so in gear we want these cells here to be eight and now I'm going to write that to the, the truck. And my dog is over here whining. So I think we'll call that good for uh, idle tuning for this uh, cam. So uh, I'll uh, wrap up this screen part of the video and pop on the camera here for a second and tell you what's coming up next.
Okay guys, so that's going to wrap up the uh, idle tuning for the uh, cam swap. Um, next we're going to work on, uh, let me just, basically um, I don't have my turbo hooked up to the, uh, the uh, throttle body yet. So um, we're going to work on finishing up this charge piping and installing the intercooler in the next video. And then we're going to try and get this thing out to the track. So um, that's it for this one. We'll uh, talk to you on the next one. Make sure to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching and commenting and all that. So talk to you next time.